Happy Thursday, everyone. Today, I'm going to film my review for The Fifth Wave by Ricky Yancey. I want to go ahead and warn you guys, this probably will not be a very competent review just because my mind is kind of everywhere and yeah. But there are going to be spoilers, so I highly recommend you go read this. I give this 5 out of 5 stars. It is about this girl named Cassie who is one of the only people left after a huge alien wipeout. There's like five, there's waves of the aliens and okay, so the first wave was lights out. The second one was surfs up. Third one was pestilence and the fourth one was silencer. They all have different kinds of aliens and they all do different things like, you know, killing people or cutting out the electricity or all that. So our main character Cassie is one of the only ones left. And, you know, it's just her overcoming survival and, you know, stuff like that. Super, super interesting. Really liked it. Highly recommend it. Okay, time for the spoilery section. So, like I said, this is not going to be a very competent review. I don't honestly have that much to say. At least I don't think. Watch this turn into like a thousand minute video. But a couple things. I seriously, seriously, seriously liked Cassie. I thought she was a really, really strong female heroine, you know, kind of like Katniss or Triss, just someone who's really awesome and ready to go, kind of. And, you know, like, and also I thought the message of this book overall was really nice. The whole wanting to protect your family because, you know, this whole book was about her trying to get to her baby brother, Sammy. And I know no matter how much of a baby I am and no matter how low my pain tolerance is, I would do anything for my baby brother. So I could definitely, definitely empathize for her and I knew how she felt because my family and friends are very, very important to me. So I'd be feeling the exact same way she was. She was just a lot more courageous than I was. This is so large, so big, so huge. You could probably kill someone with this. Okay, so anyway, um, like, you guys know, I'm not a science fiction person. Um, I just don't like it. But recently, I've been liking the science fiction books I've been reading. Like, I read the Lunar Chronicles, or the first two books in the Lunar Chronicles, and loved it. And I read this and absolutely loved it. And I'm reading the sequel right now. But, I mean, it's just so intricate. I mean, see, this the definition of this book is something Margaret does not like. But I, everyone was hyping it up like crazy. And Whitney from Reading Novels was hyping it up. And I trust Whitney because she we have a, a similar taste in books. And she has great taste when it comes to books. So, like, she absolutely loves it. All these other booktubers just are raving, you know. But there are some things... I am so confused about. I started The Infinite Sea, the sequel, and I got on page two, and I'm like, you know what? I'm ha I had the same problem in the first one, Googling it. I don't know who's narrating. It's obvious in this one that it's Cassie, but it randomly changed to Sammy's, I think. And I think at one point there was an Evan in there. Like... Whenever... So Cassie's talking, so she's not going to say, Cassie did this, Cassie did that, because, like, it's her... So, whenever I got to something, it was like, Cassie said, hi, and I was like, wait a minute. I was like, I was like, bruh, uh, bruh, what? I don't understand. Then I started to realize that it's not the same person. There's someone else narrating this. And I was also really confused because I must have missed something when they were assigning the little nicknames and the military thing. So the entire time, I thought Nugget was just this kid. I had no idea it was Sammy. And then... I got them also mixed up, like Ringer and Teacup and whatever. I got so confused with that. Oh, and like, but eventually I picked up. I googled it, and it's and like, so I heard Ringer is the main narrator, at least for the biggest chunk for the Infinite Sea, which is nice to know. But still, anyway. So I thought this book was really interesting, and it was really, really, really action packed. Like, you know. You, she, poor Cassie, she couldn't just have... We really, really... They missed an opportunity for a pretty cover underneath. Like, the spine is okay, but... Opportunity right over your head. Pew, publishing company. <laughs> just work better on that. Side rant. Make them pretty under the covers. But, you know, there, it was... There, poor Cassie, she had no rest time. She just went from one thing to another. And whenever she was resting, she was emotionally burdened. You know, by worrying and stressing about her parents and her baby brother and what, how she was going to end up. 
and I think we need to address Evan and how much I really like him. I am going to go with the stereotypical thoughts of not a fan of the romance, which is weird because I absolutely love romance in books. Like, that's my thing. I don't read purely romance books, but I like a book that has romance in it. If there's no romance, I'm probably not going to like it. But in this one, I haven't heard people's reasons for not liking the romance. I've decided to stay away from that just in case there was like some kind of spoiler or something. I thought it was really, really predictable. The second she opened her, her she opened her eyes and there was a blonde teenage boy in front of her, I'm like, oh, okay, so they're going to fall in love and get married. I mean, that's just how it was. Because, you know, she liked Ben Parrish, who is zombie apparently, did not know it. I'm like, who is zombie in the fifth place? And this is Ben. I'm like, what? I was, I was absolutely lost. I seriously was lost with those names. I did not get it. But, you know, the second, the second she said I was a teenage guy, I'm like, okay, that's what's gonna happen. That's just how it is. That's just what's gonna happen. But, see, I like them together. I do. I ship them. See, that's my thing. I thought that's on Goodreads. I didn't like the romance. I didn't like how it was executed or developed, but I do like them together. I definitely ship them. Now I'm reading The Infinite Sea, and I'm starting to get a Ben Cassie feel, maybe, or maybe a Ben and Ringer. See, but is Ringer a teenager, or is she that little kid, or is that teacup? I don't even. If Ringer is the other one who's kind of like around Cassie's age, then maybe Ben and her. That could work. But I'm picking up some vibes, kind of like, I never noticed you, but now you fight aliens, you know, kind of from Ben's side. But, like, with Evan and her, it was just so predictable, like, real that, that, that don't, he was in Augustus Waters he was perfect you know one of those people like he's charming and funny has no flaws he's gorgeous he's had a past girlfriend but has stopped Shh. but has since you know broken up with her this happened died because she died which really sucks but like and you know he clothed her and fed her and bathed her I'm like Dude, she's not handicapped. And even she said that. She's like, dude, I can do some things for myself. And I'm like, that's right. You kick his butt. You don't have to be slave to this gorgeous blonde boy you found in a tent. Or, well, he found me, I guess, on the ground. But, see, that's how I would be. I'd be like, huh, okay. <laughs> I would be, I, I am not like Cassie. Yeah, so like, she's like, get away from me. I can do it myself. I'd be like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just because fictional guys are so awesome. Why can't they be real? Why aren't there real fictional guys? This really sucks. Real life sucks whenever you come out of a book because the guys aren't there and the epic girls are I mean, just, ugh, no one. So I did feel like, I, the one way to describe it, I think, other than predictable is lame. The entire time, I kind of, I had a whole bunch of eye rolls in this. I'm like, you're kidding me. Did she really just say that kind of thing? But I, like I was saying before about the meaning, I absolutely loved Cassie's concern for Sammy and how much she just loved her baby brother. Because, you know, that's also, it's, it's like Katniss. Katniss and Prim. Katniss genuinely, genuinely loved and worried and cared for Prim. So I felt, I saw some very, very um, similar attributes to her and Katniss. And I really like Katniss, so I think that could have helped. Anyway, I'm so, so excited for this sequel. Like, I'm like 40 pages in. It is good. But I'm so excited to see what happens and how it wraps up. And isn't this going to be a trilogy? We need some more duologies out there. But oh well. The next one is so thin. Haha, <laughs> so I can read it very soon. Alrighty. Well, that sums up this book review. I think, um, like, subscribe, comment, and tell me down below what your thoughts of this book was. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.